What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode five of Armed in Michigan Gun Shop Gun Unboxings. Today we have something special from Kimber. It is the R7 Mako. So I've been kind of interested in checking one of these out. It's been out for a while now, but we just decided to get these in the shop. Comes in a nice large cardboard box from Kimber. Let's pop it open. It does include a nice little range bag. Your generic trigger lock. Some paperwork and a sticker. So here's a nice bag, front zipper here, nothing in there, nice outside. So this bad boy does come with five mags. So let's see here, I believe these are all 10 rounders. They do have 13 rounders, oh wait, I lied. That might be the 13 rounder, let's check the gun itself. So here, we're gonna go out of order in this video. So let's make sure this is safe. Brand new oil everywhere. Chamber flag. Get that out of there. Drop the mag. So yeah, those in there are 13 rounders. This is your 10 round mag. Get that down a little bit. And this is what I was really interested in was this trigger. It's a flat face, kind of like, you know, your Glockish style magazine, um, not magazine, I'm sorry. Trigger. Nice crisp pull. Nice reset. So let me see the take up here, real quick. Kind of gritty, but. They'll pike, you know, break in over time. That's a nice reset though. I like that. So uh, we have one of these out on the showroom already. So a couple of the guys were kind of laughing because uh, what does that remind you of? Uh, uh, <coughs> high point? Um, okay, we'll leave it at that. But yeah, it's, it's kind of an odd design where there's just your little extraction port on the side. Um, nothing's open on the top. It's a nice clean look. It is a little bit bulkier. I kind of compare it to the 43X. This is a little bit wider and um, a quarter inch longer. Has kind of a um, Glock style breakdown, but um, we'll show that in a different video. Kind of a small accessory rail is good for, I guess, um, almost your SIG style clamps for some streamlines or something like that. Very good kind of texturing here. Very grippy, optic ready. And they do come with, these aren't suppressor height sights, but these are like optic ready sights. So it will marry very well with your optic. It gives you a lower one third co-witness. So let's put that aside real quick and we'll go back to the bag. So you get one 10 round mag in the firearm itself. Four 13 round mags in the bag, which is sweet. That's a great value. Uh, looks like just your booklet. And it comes with a holster from Mission First Tactical. Really cool. I won't take that out. It just looks like an inside the waistband um, Kydex style holster. Nothing else. So again, we'll just go back to the firearm for some closing statements. Um, what I did forget to mention is these sights are also night sights, which is a really cool, again, value. You get night sights that are suppressor height. I'm sorry, take that back. Night sights that are lower one third co-witness for optics, optic cut, five mags, and a range bag, and a great, actually great value package. Um, something that I kind of want to try out myself. Great trigger. I'm just a little bit iffy about the size and the weight of this guy. So 10 rounds with a flush mag, 13 rounds of extended stock, um, which is kind of the norm these days for this size firearm. So yeah, you guys are interested in one of these? Come check us out here in Westland, Michigan or check out our website or give us a call. Thank you for checking it out. We'll see you guys in the next one.